many brands choose to communicate through association. This, this concept's not new. But I like this particular one because Accenture have chosen to associate themselves with the master of golf. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see, I think you can, that there's a dimension associate, associated with this picture of him striding down the fairway. Attitude, 50%. Aptitude, 50%. Yeah? Core values associate that they want associated with Accenture. This is what this guy does. This is what Accenture does. We see it again here. Relentless consistency. Well, organizations must be consistent. And obviously in the services sector, Accenture can deliver um, their services in a, in a very, very consistent way. And, but they also show a willingness to change. Yeah? A willingness to be flexible. Here we see, th I think, the symbolic arc of his particular swing to represent the fullness of the service that they provide. Some very interesting s symbolism going on with the use of this particular individual. Who, let's face it, is a bit of a class act. And if you want to know more about that, go to the Accenture site and you will see lots of information, cuts from the television ads that feature Tiger Woods, and you will start to see how they've started to use or have been using Tiger Woods in a very strong way to build brand values in association. Behaviour. Now, we've talked about behaviour today um, on several occasions. I just want to, to look at some areas where behaviour should be understood. The, the behaviour of the sales team, of course, is absolutely vital, isn't it? And they are at the front of uh, the operation. They are at the contact point. Sales team, operational staff, yeah? those who go out and perform a service on behalf of the company, either internally or even in, uh, externally or internally, are r it's really important that their behavior is in line with the mission and values of the organization. We've mentioned senior managers. We've but what about call centers? Uh, Issues about call centres have been in the news a great deal in recent years. Um, issues to do with NatWest, perhaps, and their policy on bringing all their call centres back into the UK, allied with another uh, means of differentiation and positioning, which was about the reinstatement or the importance of their br branch banking facilities when everybody else was going more online and closing branches down. Support staff and retailers. The way in which a retailer will support your brand because they are at a distance from you, the manufacturer or the owner of the brand. They are representing you at the point of purchase. So what values are they saying or are they ex exuding about your particular brand? S so, as a means of identity, I mentioned NatWest. Virgin Atlantic. Uh, I've talked on, uh, in another session about Virgin Atlantic's uh, recent advertising campaign as a means of identification, a strong identity cue. Uh, British Gas, if you look at the history of their ads, go to their website, look at what they've been doing over recent years in, in order to establish who they are and, how w and the values that are important to them. And they're an organisation that has experienced a fair deal of controversy um, and the way in which they are trying to manage their reputation, again, is very interesting. And B&Q, uh, I think organizations, uh, we can learn something from B&Q about the way in which their staff adopt or help to adopt the values of the organization and the means by which they identify with customers. Now, the pre-opening the, the, the pre training session and group bonding sessions are legendary at B&Q. I was in B&Q yesterday morning, and I'm not making this up. I was in there, I was wandering around looking for whatever it was I was looking for. It's actually a toilet seat. And a lady was, uh, was um, a B&Q member of staff was just doing some stacking, and she was just so nice and so polite and just said good morning to me. And it was about quarter past eight in the morning, and it was so refreshing and so nice you just f could not help but smile, you know, just a reflection of that particular brand. How many of us, either individually or as organizations, have got into trouble? 
yeah, got into difficulties, wondered what the solution was that minimized damage to other parties, other stakeholders, and ourselves. And I love this particular picture. I, I pretend to play golf, and I've been in this stuff many times. And here we have Tiger Woods looking at his ball, wondering how he's going to get out. Uh, I have to say, for many times, it is a setback for me. <laughs> um, it's a test for him. It's, a, it's, again, a reflection of the values of how an organization can develop and deal with difficulties. Because the corporate communication needs to address not just the good times, but also address and recognize issues as they occur.